Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? In this video, I'm gonna show you the number one TikTok ad spy tool and how you can use this spy tool to spy on affiliate marketing, drop shipping, or if you're a course creator, any type of campaign you wanna run on TikTok ads, I'm gonna show you how to spy on it using Pippi ads. So let's get into it. So, and keep in mind that this is just in my opinion, it's the number one spy tool. So here's why I love the spy tool. Um, you can use it to find the hottest campaigns that are currently running and the search filters, you can use uh, keywords. If you're running an auto insurance campaign and you wanna spy on other people running those types of video ads, just type in the word auto, type in the word insurance. And if you're thinking about setting up a drop shipping site, you can just type in the name of the product that you're gonna be promoting and just see what other people are doing, get inspiration and then scale up some campaigns. You can also search by views, like ratio, popularity, and a lot more, and I'll be getting into that later. Um, it also gives you the option to download the videos, which I thought was pretty cool. You can see your competitors' landing pages and get inspiration for that as well. And like I said earlier, this isn't just for affiliate marketing. You can also use it for drop shipping and course creators, etc. And then one last thing before I get into the tutorial, you can use the code CODYCARP for 20% off if you're interested in signing up with this spy tool. I am a partner with the spy tool and as you guys know if you're from my channel I only partner with tools that I actually use and I actually like. So with that being said let's jump into the tutorial. Okay so here we are inside of my Pippi Ads account and now I'm just going to go through an overview of all the things you can search by. So the main ones that I do are the ad keyword, the ad text, and then I like to sort by uh, total likes and then you can, I also use uh, days running but you can also go by categories so if you're just in the e-commerce game come and click e-commerce if you want to promote an app come and click uh, games and app or if you're in drop shipping come and click that right there so then we'll go into the basics uh, you can target by country the action button so if you only want to see ones that have uh, shop now or learn more or order now you can choose that another pretty cool one is you can choose the ecom platform so if you're running a shopify website and you want to get ideas you can see only ads that are using shopify as well and then get inspiration the ad types you can do brand ads or non-branded ads the landing page you can choose to see ads that are only using a landing page or ones that are not using a landing page and just direct linking to their offer then you got ad impressions, total likes, popularity, days, and then the like rate. And lastly, you can do first scene and last scene, and then you can also exclude some results. So now let's get into a real life example. So I've been dabbling with auto insurance when I'm running these TikTok ads. And so far I've been seeing some uh, pretty decent results. So I'll give you an example of how I actually went and found inspiration for some of my ads. So I just left it at add keyword and I typed in auto insurance and then I added it to the filter. And then you can see right off the bat, like this DMV one, that's most likely an affiliate. Um, a lot of angles use that uh, image of the DMV. So right off the bat, it is uh, showing us uh, affiliate ads. Oops, let's go back up. And most of the time I'm gonna be using the United States. And then lastly, I like to look at ads that have more than 100 likes. That just lets me know that it's been running for a few days and it's getting some interaction with the customers. So just like that, we added three filters and then we can uh, start looking at some of these ads. So right away, you can hover over each of these and it'll start playing the video, which is cool because once you click and view the advertiser details and when you do that, you get to see a lot more info but that'll count as one of your views. So you can click on this right here and then it'll play with sound. There are a few awesome things that I wanna point out right here. When you click on one of these ads that you like, you can obviously watch the full video. You can see the ad text, like their call to action. What are they having at that bottom of the TikTok ads? Stop overpaying for your car insurance. It shows you how many impressions, how many days it's been running, and then the popularity. And then it'll give you an estimate on the ad cost and they calculate this using big data and uh, the common CPM indicators for tar uh, target regions and the estimated conversions and the like rate. And then down here, obviously it has the United States because that was one of our filters. Uh, when was the ad released? This one was released four days ago and the action button is actually order now, which is uh, interesting because usually I see learn more. So then you can open this TikTok URL in another tab and you can see how it looks. And then you can see the comments on the ads. 
like are people commenting like bad things like all oh, this is a scam whatever you can come and see like this one says bullshit so it's good to like kind of look at the comments and see oh if I take this route this is what people are commenting on this version and it's a good indicator on how people are interacting with the ad and then lastly you can uh, come and click on the landing page which is super cool and this way you can see if they're direct linking to an affiliate offer or if they're sending people to a landing page and as I said earlier, you can actually download these videos. You can just come right down here and click download and it would uh, start the download. I'm not going to do that though. If you don't want to see any more ads from the advertiser, you can just come and click block this advertiser. Once you have that, you can do sort by uh, ad impressions to see which ones are running the longest. And if they're or getting a lot of ad impressions, they're probably spending more and the campaign's probably doing really good. Like this one, when they put the sticker on the windshield, those ones uh, capture attention right away. And it's super important, like when you're doing your spying, you want to see what are these advertisers doing in the first five seconds, or even the first three seconds, because those are the most crucial to get people to stop from scrolling on TikTok. Okay, so let's say we're going through and we really like this ad right here. We can click on here, and then we can come and click on collect, and you can create multiple groups. Oops, I'm going to pause that. So collect, and then you can go into a collection up here and create a group and you can label it like auto insurance, uh, ecom group one, etc. whatever you wanna label it to stay organized. So we can come in and click that and then just click on collect. So then this one will forever be in our collection. And let's say a few weeks from now, you're like, oh yeah, I remember seeing that really good ad on TikTok. Oh, it'll be hard to find it or whatever. You can just go right to the collection and it'll be there labeled strategically and it's a good idea if you're launching a campaign just to have at least five ads collected not to swipe again remember my saying is when you're doing your spying you got to just get inspiration see what is working see what types of ads are resulting in a bunch of ad impressions or a bunch of likes and then go from there don't swipe just get inspiration I can't stress that enough now let's do an e-commerce example so for that I would do I would click on the category e-commerce I would do United States and then for the platform we can do Shopify and then for the total likes let's let's go more than 100 this time let's go 500 and then we can do sort by ad impressions and see which ones are just knocking it out of the park uh, let's see what these guys are doing LED light a sunset lamp Ooh, that looks really cool. So you could click on that. No how much a sunset lamp could transform. Ooh, I like that transition. That's a really good ad, and that's probably why it has 86.9 million ad impressions. So these guys are just knocking it out of the park. It's been running for 85 days. The ad cost, let's see. They're estimating the ad cost to be around three hundred to six hundred thousand dollars, and then they got the estimated orders of ten thousand to fifty thousand and a two point three seven percent like rate. That is really good. So let's go check out their landing page. So they're selling these lamps for twenty two dollars, and you can come and see what types of images are they using on their sales page. This looks pretty good, and it's a really good example of what works with TikTok ads. So there you have it if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you dropped a like if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel yet smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos and remember if you're interested in using uh, pippy ads you can use my 20 percent off promo code which is cody carp all capital letters and get that discount so yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video